You did good back there. Oh, is that an apology? All right, you're not a... Little sheltered prude? I never actually said that, you know. Well, thinking it is bad enough. How much time do we have? 25 minutes. If you hear about the sublet, this really isn't a good time. No, no, no. It's about the briefcase you picked up. Oh, man. I left it on the bus. I cannot catch a break today. You see that window up there? The one with the light on? That is my slut ex-wife up there. And she is with her new boyfriend. And do you know where she met him? The gym. Do you believe that? Well, I don't care how pumped your pecs are, Jim Boy, because JD has the great equalizer right here! Uh, 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 for 50, sir. All right. Welcome to America, pal. Who saved yourself? <laughs> I could have started World War III. Calm down, Cindy. I could have nuked Detroit. My God, I could have nuked my mother. Cindy, deep breaths. Now, can you remember which bus you took? Number... Twelve, downtown. Great. Can I use your phone? Okay, I'll check on the baby. Hey! Drop the phone! No, JG! So, this is Jim Boy! Buddy, this ain't tonight. No, it's not your night, that's for damn sure. JG, put the gun down now, you psycho. He's not Billy. He's not? Maybe you guys should hash this out some other time. Without firearms, I really need to make this call. So you fool! Now you give her the phone, get his steroid ass over here now! No! No! What is it with you people? I'm trying to save your miserable damn lives! Watch it with that thing! Yeah. In the last three hours, I've been up for six days straight trying to keep this world from blowing up. And who cares? Nobody. Aqualon wants 20 bucks. Brutal lady wants to save her stupid goats. And the woman in the next room thinks that I need to control my impulses. So maybe she's right. This thing's one big friggin' joke, isn't it? But you know what? I'm the only person on the planet who gets it. So maybe the joke's on me, right? Well, I'm sick of it! Why don't you just put the gun down? You know, I don't even know why I'm doing this job. Why don't I just let this whole thing go to hell? Mr. Parker. What? I called the bus line. I know where the football went. But a little midnight snack. I got something special for you. Oh, oh Kiki, no. Oh, Kiki, no, come on. Give it back. Okay, you can play with it, but just until I finish my rounds. off the bus with a case. He said he'd take responsibility for it, and since the bus driver knew him as a regular commuter, he said it'd be okay. He doesn't sound like a terrorist to me. Tonight, I'm not so sure of anything. How much time do we have?
one's answering. Watch your eyes. Yeah, well, if we're in time, you're gonna get the congressional medal of honor. Right around here. Oh no. Those numbers are counting down. That's that's not a good thing. Is it just open the gate? Call Talmadge. Get the abort code. All right, Kiki. Give me the case. Uh, Kiki's kind of having a stressful time right now. She's uh, just getting over rabies. Right. Let me try. I don't think that's such a good idea. Got a better one? Kiki? Processing reality shifts. Oh? Yeah, you surprised me tonight. I thought you were gonna crumble. You proved me wrong. I, on the other hand, behaved exactly like you knew I would. Hell, that voodoo lady even predicted it. I'm an animal. You saved the world. Yeah, well, still doesn't change the fact that I'm the love interest of a very depressed ape. She even saw through to my true nature. Hey! Where the hell have you been all night? Call me, Nathan. It was a delight to exchange views. <laughs> so, is that what you were doing, Mr. Ramsey? Exchanging views? I guess that's what they call it in D.C. these days. You know, I may be a lower primate, but I do believe that man is a dog. Ruff! <laughs> <laughs> 